This video, I will be fine tuning Florence 2, a new vision language model by Microsoft. Now, why Florence 2 and what is it? Florence is a new vision language model released by Microsoft. This is a vision language model that combines the VIT vision encoder, which is a vision transformer, and bird text encoder. This has shown to be quite effective for captioning, image captioning, object detection, and OCR. And it shows improvements with fine tuning on tasks like doc VQA, which we are going to do. This model is available in 0.2 billion parameters and 0.7 billion parameters for people who are curious. Now, if you're not interested about what it is and what is fine tuning and other boring details, you can go to this timestamp in the screen right now to go to the fine tuning this instant. Now, if you've stayed, why fine tune? Fine tune helps you to answer various document questions in a much better way specific to your domain. So let's say we are asking what is the subject of this letter, this can answer unanswerable if it's not fine-tuning your data. But when you fine-tune, it gives a much better response. Now, fine-tuning is a form of transfer learning which adapts it to your own domain and there's no need to pre-train. You only train the last couple of layers to get a very good performance. Not only that, you can use less data for fine-tuning and get more performance, which is great. Now, we can get back to fine-tuning. And this fine-tuning will be broken down into five main steps. First, we're going to download the model and data. I'm going to show you guys how to make basic inference to prepare the data set and prepare training and train the model and also how to save the model to Hugging Face to save the model in the most cheapest way possible. Now, by the way, I make similar videos like these on LLMs, machine learning and other data science tools. So please feel free to subscribe. Now, I'm using a Go Colab Pro Plus with the A100 GPU. After you've done that, we have to make sure we've installed the packages over here. So data sets, flash attention, Tim and AI and Ops. After done that, we can load the data set from Hugging Face document VQA. Now, VQA, this is a data set which has a question, image, and an answer. So these have different types of question types, such as handwritten form, layout, tables, and so forth. Now, once we've downloaded the data set, we have to make, we have to prepare the data set. But before we do that, I just want to quickly show how to make a very basic inference. Now, to make the inference, we have to make sure we have the model. And to download the model, you have to import from Torch, import Torch from transformers, import auto model for causal LM and auto processor. We're gonna set the device to the GPU over here and we're gonna download the model. Now, before we download, make sure you guys have the HF token in your environment ready to be accessed by the transform package. That could be quite helpful. Now we're ready to make some basic inference. Over here, we have a function that can run an example. So you have a task prompt, a text input, and then it passes on the model to get a parsed answer. Now, from the data set that we have, we're going to get one specific data and try to make inference on it. So we have three different images that we want to be answered. So as we can see, the first one is unanswerable. We can't really answer it. The second one is unanswerable too, but the third one is answered. Now, when we fine tune it, this will be solved. Now, before we start training our model, we have to make sure we prepare the data. To do that, we will have a class called doc VQA dataset to prepare the data set in a way that we have a prefix in the beginning of the question. Now, after we've done that, we have to use a data collator to convert the question and images into specific input that the model can understand. So here we have the collate function, the questions answer images from the batch we have, and we take the inputs using a processor that converts the question and images and then returns the input. And then using the special class that we created over here, it's gonna convert the training data into a VQA data set and we're only taking around 3,000 samples. The reason why I'm taking a small sample is to speed up the tutorial process, but it is appropriate to use as much training data as possible for your domain data. And over here, we're using a batch size of six. This can be changed or should be changed based upon how powerful your GPU is. Now we create a data loader using the training data set, batch size, coded function, number of workers, and shuffle true. And there we have it. We have a training loader and a validation loader. Now to train the model, we're gonna create a function called train model, where we're going to define, we can define atom optimizer, number of training steps, and scheduler. Now these are parameters that can be changed and adjusted based upon your training to see if it increases or decreases the loss function. And after that, we're going to have a loop, a loop that goes through epochs, puts the model to train, and for each batch, we're going to start training the model. And now we get to evaluate the model after each epoch. And now we get to validate the model after the training has been done. Now we set the model to evaluate, and then we go to the validation data set to validate and report the validation loss. And after each and after each epoch, we're going to save the checkpoints in our local directory. And that is how we have created a training function. So all we really have to do is instantiate the function and call the model to train it. Now over here, we have the Hugging Face notebook, 
login, which where you actually pass in the hugging face token, where you can use it to save the model later on. But I'm gonna ignore this step for the time being. And after that, and before we start training the model, we're gonna put the model vision tower parameters is trainable false. This has shown to improve the training performance. Now we call the function that we created, we pass in the training loader, the validation loader, model, processor, and number of epochs. All we really have to do is press run and wait. All right, there you guys have it. The model is finally trained, and now we get to save the model. Now, posted the code for saving the model over here. I'm not gonna run it over here, but I'm just gonna give you guys the code to save the model and push it to the hub for both the model and processor. All right, guys, I hope you guys found this video insightful. If you guys did, please feel free to subscribe. I make similar videos like these. All right, guys, I hope to see you in my next video. Have a nice day.